Now, I think it's pretty safe to say that the future of the Star Wars universe seems to be quite expansive when it comes to exactly what John and Dave are beginning to brew behind closed doors, as well as what they are hyping up for the future of the franchise when it comes to not just the Mandoverse, but also new eras that they are about to introduce and announce at not just Celebration, but also at D23 and specific earnings calls that will be provided by Bob Iger, the Disney CEO. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future Star Wars updates. I'm also on Twitter at MikeZero1. I thank you also very much for the great and kind support. Now, one thing about everything related to John and Dave's efforts to really kind of stabilize the franchise has a lot to do with especially ruling out a lot of Kathleen Kennedy's issues and her distorted view of how Star Wars should be, right? It's all about kind of equalizing all of that, and a lot of that has to do with themselves cleaning up house over at Lucasfilm. Now, yes, given that John and Dave have a lot more priv privileges now over at the company, they have a lot of control on creative ends, financial ends, and all the like, that's really giving them the advantage to really steering things in the right path. Now, given that we also have, of course, everything related to Celebration this year, that's going to be basically the destination of a lot of announcements, as well as new details about the Ahsoka Tano series. In fact, we will be getting that official teaser trailer of the show at Star Wars Celebration, so stay tuned for that. Now, with that being all put out there, what's even all the more engaging has a lot to do with what John and Dave just recently did behind the scenes over at Lucasfilm to not only help the Star Wars franchise, but to also show fans that they are being very loyal to the franchise and they are listening to the fandom and exactly what they want. Now, of course, on top of this, with many new Star Wars TV shows in the works by both John and Dave, Disney and Lucasfilm are beginning to prepare to make some big announcements for the fandom across the globe. As of now, Favreau and Filoni are getting ready to unveil the expanded roadmap of the Star Wars franchise. However, it's described that one of the big developments by both John Favreau and Dave Filoni is that they did, of course, something big at Lucasfilm by cleaning up house at the company. Further, it's noted that they recently fired more Lucasfilm creatives in an attempt to steer Lucasfilm in a better path to success with all of its upcoming shows and that they got rid of more Kathleen Kennedy loyal employees and creatives that were being very difficult to work with and that they were falling into creative differences with John and Dave over their new Mando season, like the fourth one for example. On top of this, additionally, John and Dave also canceled a very big plan of Kathleen Kennedy's that she was going to do with the roadmap of the franchise that involved multiple High Republic live action stories that were greenlit years ago that were considered to be spin-offs of her previously canceled High Republic trilogy. John and Dave recently put an end to all these series of shows based within this era and officially took them off the roadmap of the Star Wars franchise. Now let me just stop here for one second. Now, the thing that we know most about everything related to John and Dave is that they are all about really kind of just respecting the lore and the canon. Now, if you guys have read the High Republic books and the comics, to me at least, it's not Star Wars in the slightest. Um, it feels like a distorted view of the franchise. It doesn't really feel like something from George Lucas or something that he would have done or something even that John and Dave would have done. You know, at the end of the day, we already know that there were supposed to be a lot of High Republic live action material that ended up getting canceled for all these specific reasons, by the way, because a lot of... You know, uh, Disney board members were very unhappy with that actual outlook on things, how the fans were actually giving it a bad reception and not really giving it the best attention available. So on top of this too, we also know that Bob Iger is the one that actually pulled the trigger here. He's the one that allowed John and Dave to do what they had to do by really kind of getting rid of all these Lucasfilm employees, all these creatives, and they are doing this department by department and doing it month by month in pieces to kind of create that balance so they're not out of work with people, right? Firing some, hiring some, and then moving on to the next batch. That's basically John and Dave's format right now, and they do have the privileges 
to do all of this simultaneously. Now the other thing that I do want to point out real quick is that we also know that the only High Republic live action project in the works as of right now is the Acolyte. That's it. Basically, Bob Iger wants nothing to go, you know, further beyond that. He doesn't really want to explore other High Republic projects. However, what's really interesting is that John and Dave are actually making a proposal of really kind of revamping that era and really changing its value and giving it a brand new setting, a brand new overall atmosphere, stuff like that. That's something that they kind of, you know, pitched to Disney in order to kind of change the High Republic era if they wanted to ever do that in live action. So I think that what John and Dave did here was a very good decision, a very good strategy on their end, and it really just goes to show you how loyal they really are. Moving on. Now, Kennedy is best described to be furious about her latest, about their latest decision to do away with Mando, and of course, um, to do away with many of the projects that are not associated with Mando, basically, which are the Higher Republic ones, and by firing more Lucasfilm employees and creatives that leaves room open for new hires to come in. This was also said to have been a decision put together by Bob Iger for John and Dave to do such things. So keep in mind that we have John and Dave really kind of just doing what they need to do to make sure that Star Wars is going to thrive and survive. And John Favreau just said a couple of days ago that he believes that the Mandalorian can keep on going uh, without, you know, an ending in sight. But for now, he's looking at Mando 4 as a possible last season, unless it proves to be wildly successful. He'll expand it to a season 6 and maybe even beyond. And that really does tell us volumes. That tells us how much they really have stored in their minds, creatively, of what they are able to do. And I think that in two days, we're going to find out exactly how Mando 3 is going to be. So, so far, episode 1 is like, what, 35 minutes long, uh, give or take. It's going to be a short-ish episode, which is a little unfortunate, but it is said to have a very good starting point, so looking forward to that as well. So, overall, you know, I think that the fact that Kathleen Kennedy has a very big problem with John and Dave and cleaning up house over at Lucasfilm, making all these different changes, it just really kind of makes things all the more apparent that... Basically, Kathleen Kennedy does not like the fans. She does not like the overall structure of the George Lucas fan base and exactly where that's heading, right? We already know that Lucas is very well involved with both John and Dave on multiple projects, both films and shows, because Bob Iger wants to bring them back to the movies. He wants Star Wars back in the theater seats. This way they can rely on repeat ticket sales and ticket prices themselves too and to kind of gain revenue that way. So, while also focusing on a quality product, mind you. So at the time, guys, you know, we have a lot of things on our hands. We have multiple projects coming out this year and next year and beyond. And if you guys would like to fill me in below in the comments what you guys have to say about all of this, let me know about that and I'll catch you guys next time. Let me know what you guys have to say about Kathleen Kennedy, John, George, and Dave, and everybody. And I'll see you guys later.